Hi, my name is Tarun and in this video, we are going to talk about churn. Where most of us manifest buttery dreams on hearing the word churn, New Yorker magazine or any other subscription-based business dreads it. The C word to such businesses suggests a rate of attrition when the customers decide against doing business with them. So if at the start of the month, New Yorker magazine has 100 customers and 15 new signed up, but by the end of the month, they have only 110 customers. That means five customers have churned. Because the magazine had 100 customers at the start of the month and only 95 of those stuck around, the rate of churn for New Yorker magazine would be 5%. Just as customers can churn a company by leaving it, revenues can churn too. Revenue churn is the loss of revenue that the company suffers due to cancellations. Customers churn for different reasons. One, intentional churn is when the customers choose to leave due to reasons related to their experience with the brand. Perhaps a customer unsubscribed New Yorker magazine that year because he was frustrated with the content or now he preferred the competitor. The best way to find out why a customer cancels is by surveying them while the customer churns. Feedback through surveys can offer insights that may reveal problem areas that are otherwise obscure to the company. Two, besides a customer may churn involuntarily, meaning they may cancel their subscription because their card declined during payment. This can be handled by managing the billing software in such a manner that can retain information of these customers and then later send them reminders. Subscription billing software and feedback can help keep the churn rate in check. Let us know in comments about your experience with exploring churn. Give us a like if you found this useful and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you for watching. Data Science Dojo. Data science for everyone.